everybody it's melinda from stamping with melinda on a freezing cold night with more snow falling we just have so much we needed more not sure where we're gonna put it all my husband's getting really tired of moving it it just it's really cold in iowa and it keeps snowing so it's been a perfect day to um stamp the winter blues away they're not going away, but I've been stamping anyway. I am going to um, post and show you the paper pumpkin alternatives for the good things come in small packages. I know I've had them done. I just have not got this posted. So I've been stamping all day and I decided it was time to get this up too. So we're going to um, share the alternatives with you in just a few minutes. And I'm going to make a couple quick cards. I'm going to try really hard to keep this video shorter than the usual because sometimes I just get a little windy so I appreciate you guys um stopping by the my YouTube be sure to check out my blogs blog stampingwithmelinda.com I really really appreciate um you guys watching my videos if you like them give me a thumbs up and if you don't that's okay if you have any questions concerns or comments for me feel free to email me at stamping with um, Melinda at stampingwithmelinda.com and I will be happy to help you if you need a demonstrator or a catalog let me know I would be happy to help with that too I have been a paper crafter for probably about 30 years because my oldest one just turned 30 and I went to my first paper crafting class when he was a baby so wow that's a long time. I absolutely love to stamp and I love to share my projects with you. This video is going to be all about the um, paper pumpkin alternatives. I love to take our paper pumpkin kits that you can subscribe to monthly and take them and think outside of the box, literally. They come with instructions, full color instructions, um, a stamp set and a theme every month to make cards and projects. And they're great cards and projects. There's nothing wrong with them at all, but I love to take them and create with them and um, think literally outside of the box. So I can um, adapt them to themes that I might need or I don't know, just sometimes I like to stretch them and see how much I can get out of them. This one, I actually use the stamps that came in the kit for the most part, but they come with complete supplies, a stamp set, an ink spot, an ink spot is a small version of our inks so all and adhesive so really all you um need are some paper snips since i think outside the box i used a few more supplies a paper trimmer and things like that but you can subscribe to these you can subscribe for one month three months six months or a full year these little kits are delivered to your mailbox or your door they are so fun i get so excited every month when mine comes sometimes i open them and i'm i'm not that excited about them and then i start thinking outside of the box and there is not one that I haven't loved yet with some creativity even if it's one that I'm like not sold on and this was honestly one of them because this is to make gift boxes while the gift boxes are super cute I don't need that many gift boxes so therefore I turned them into cards and you know what I'm gonna take these cards and I'm gonna divide them into sets and they are gonna be great gift cards to give to people because there's so many various themes that I came up with out of it and um, so that's a perfect way to um, give uh, handmade cards are great gifts to give to people. People love to um, get little gift card sets. So that's something fun to do. It's great to have cards on hand. It is celebration. You need to be subscribed to Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of every month to get that month's um, Paper Pumpkin kit. So the March Paper Pumpkin kit is um, been released every month they give us a preview so that you can see what the the theme for that month is going to be and if you if you have a subscription for three months six months or a year and you just really don't think you like that theme you can pause your subscription you can also cancel it anytime and there are no questions asked but I really encourage you to think about paper pumpkin it is fun it is a great value because remember you have a stamp set you have ink and you have supplies left over that you can continue to use that is really really cool especially if you're a brand new stamper stamps are the hardest thing to just get a variety and a supply of and especially sayings and most all of them have sayings and greetings so this is a great great way to get started in stamping if you're a new stamper um a seasoned stamper they are super fun to take on vacation say you're going away and you're going on a family trip and oh you just need a little craft time for yourself take a paper pumpkin perfect perfect way to craft 
tomorrow um, is the big playoff games and my husband will be like, aren't you going to watch the game with me? And while I love football, I'm like, oh, I can only watch it so long. So you know what? I'll be sitting at the pub table with one of my favorite pumpkin or crafting kits. That way I'm there, but I'm still kind of creating a little on the side. Um, I do want to see the game, but I lose attention very quickly. Anyway, back to paper pumpkin. Sorry, I got sidetracked. This is the Sunshine and Smiles kit. That is the March kit. It looks absolutely adorable. It features our Plain in the Rain new stamp set, um, which is super, super cute, but there will be a stamp set included in this. So um, this just plays off of that. And there are some exclusive mini die cuts that you can um, purchase. Mine just came if you are a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin that will actually um, boost this little kit or take it even farther. So that's really cool, they're $6. Um, but you can only get the die cuts if you are subscribed by March 10th to the Sunshine and Smiles um, kit. So the 10th of every month, you need to subscribe. This kit looks super, super fun. The colors, there's, um, it's gonna coordinate with our, our product suite, which is just adorable. I can't wait. This one, I guarantee this one is gonna be super fun to play with. Um, what is really cool right now is a celebration is going on in um, Stampin' Up. Now through the end of February is celebration. Celebration is free um, gifts for purchases. Isn't that cool? So with every 50 or $100 purchase that you make with Stampin' Up, you get to choose from exclusive products in this catalog. These are um, out January and February. Rumor has it there might be some more coming in February, so stay tuned. They are super fun, super cute, cute, cute stamp sets and um, designer series papers that you can choose from free with $50 or $100 orders. Different levels give you different free exclusive products. They are well supplies left. The choices this year are amazing. They are so cute and fun. Um, so the beauty of that is with a three month paper pumpkin subscription that qualifies as a little over a $50 order. Well, it is over a $50 order, but you get a free um, $50 celebration choice. That's pretty cool. So then you get another free stamp set um, and it goes up from there. So if you do six months or you do a year, you can totally reward yourself during celebration. That is an awesome perk or an awesome reason to think about Paper Pumpkin. Like I said, Paper Pumpkin, it's just fun. I really, really enjoy creating with them. They are, like I said, the value is amazing and it's a great way to learn new techniques. It's a great way to come up with some quick, fast cards. Say you really like handmade cards, but you just don't want all the stuff. Paper Pumpkin's great. It's a great way to um, just have cards, beautiful cards, and yet not invest in everything else if that's not your your dream or focus. Um, me, of course, that's why I have a demonstrator. Oh, I love it all. But there's lots of different reasons. I truly encourage you to try Paper Pumpkin. I also feature Paper Pumpkin Perks Club for anybody that subscribes to Paper Pumpkin through me um, under my paper, uh, stampingwithmelinda.com website. You can go and order right there. I feature a Paper Pumpkin Perks Club where every month I send you email or um, print off the all of the card projects that I've created so you have full color copies of all of them. And then I give you supplies to make um, usually four or six more cards, some treats, I like treats, and supplies to make some more projects. So um, it's just because I believe in Paper Pumpkin and I believe how much fun it is that I like to um, entice you to create a little bit more with it. Um, so that's one fun thing that I do. Paper Pumpkin, every month they've been featuring, just like the little die cuts for March, kind of an add-on kit that you can get. Not every month, but a lot of the months. So for the good things come in small places, there was a um, good things cards and envelopes kit. So I'm going to be creating with those and they were just very nice um, cards and envelopes. And I think they were for people who didn't want to make the treat boxes. I'm not really sure. I did make a little of the treat boxes and I made cards. I love to make cards. So we're going to use those in the video. Don't forget during celebration, there's some other awesome incentives going on right now too. And before I get into the paper pumpkin perks, I want to just talk a little bit quick about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And don't let that demo word scare you. Oh, demo, I have to sell things. No, you don't. You can be your own best customer. Trust me. It's, I've done, I did that for years before I decided maybe I should 
kick it up a little bit. My kids are all gone and I don't sit still. Can you tell? So um, that's why I do what I do. You do not have to do what I do. No videos, no sales. You can do whatever you want with it. There's an amazing deal right now. Um, the traditional deal is $99 to join Stamping Up as a demonstrator and you get to purchase um, $125 worth of product for $99 with free shipping and you get to pick out the product. That's really an amazing deal. However, from January to the end of February, you get three different options to become a Stamping Up demonstrator and they're all amazing, amazing deals. The traditional deal of $99 still stands. However, you get a bonus of $50 in free product. That is $175 worth of product for $99 and you get to pick it. That's pretty cool. That is really, really a good deal. The value of that's amazing. I love a good deal, don't you all? The second option is actually two different options, but it's kind of the same option. We have a really cool mini stamp cut embossed machine. Now, yes, we always have our regular white one but right now we have a boho blue one isn't it cute it's so cute I just had to have it because I'm a demonstrator that's another super cool perk is I get to get these bonus options but this little boho blue guy also comes in white which is the original color and I have the white one and it was really lonely so I thought it needed a friend so I had to have the boho blue one Plus it's beautiful and it really looks nice in my craft room. Um, anyway, this little gem is $63. But if you join Stamping Up right now through the end of February, you can get your choice of the Boho Blue exclusive only during celebration or the traditional white mini cut stamp and box machine. We will use it in a little bit so you can see how it works. It's just like the big one. I absolutely love to keep this sitting beside me when I'm crafting on my desk. Um, my other one sits back here. So I have to get up and go get it, which is good for me. However, sometimes it's just really nice to be able to just reach over and grab this one. This is also great for traveling. I love this. These cut like butter, they emboss beautifully. There are um, embossing folders for the mini or embossing folders for the big. The mini ones will not cut all of our die cuts, but it will cut a bulk of our die cuts. So that is really cool. So the special for this one, for through the end of February is you can join Stamping Up as a demonstrator for, I'm sorry, I have to look at my cheat notes here, um, for $129. I knew that was, I was gonna say $125. No, $129. You get your um, product that you get to pick and the Boho die cut machine for $129. You get $175 to the product and one of these. How cool is that? Well, blue or white. It, it's a great value, um, but that's not 100% why I would recommend considering it. I would recommend considering it because you become a member of a whole community of awesome friends, inspiration. Um, we have an amazing training group if you want to take it to the business level or if you just want to be a part of it to um, share ideas, bounce ideas, meet people. There's so much to offer in Stamping Up, um, stampingwithmelinda.com, join my team. I have a great group of demonstrators and we feature fun. Every month I am um, featuring a project that I share with all of them. We have a Facebook group, um, just lots of different reasons. I love Stamping Up because I love the coordination. I love the products. I love the quality. There's so much that I love about it. I love the adhesives. I love the tools. I am a tool person. I love it. I love it all. Um, it all blends, it coordinates, and I don't have to pay full price as a demonstrator. That is the number one reason why I do what I do. I can order when I want. I can be my own shopper, my own discount shopper. It's fun. I love to create. We never buy cards in our house. Never. It's a rule. I don't care how busy I am. We make a card. We grab a card out of the craft room. The kids, everyone knows we don't buy cards here. And you know what? It's, it's just one less thing I have to deal with when I'm out and about. I don't have to go buy cards. I've always got them on hand. I don't have to go, oh crap, I don't have a card. I just, I make one. I love to theme them to the theme of the party or whatever. But um, that is one thing that I think is so fun. I am also a big scrapbooker. So the cardstock is awesome for scrapbooking. Those are the things that I love about it. You will find your own. Um, try it. You're out nothing. You can keep the kit. No one's going to take it from you. And um, that's it. You tried it and it wasn't for you. 
or you just want to take advantage of that great deal. There is no judging. You can do what you want, but I encourage you to think about that too, because during celebration, this is an amazing deal. I've been a demonstrator for a long time, a long time, and I see deals come and go, but um, this one's really, really towards the top or maybe at the top. This is, this is an awesome deal. So $175 with a product for 99 or one of these and $175 with a product for 129 Wow. So I hope you think about that. I'm going to just set him down and we're going to get back to the focus of this video because I've rambled way long enough. Um, don't forget celebration, amazing product choices. I'm going to feature a couple of them, but there are owls, carrots, DSP, so many fun projects. Reward yourself for shopping right now. If you need a mini catalog, let me know, or an annual catalog. I um, will be happy to get you one, or a demonstrator, let me know. I'm going to flip the, cal the catalog, ooh, the phone down, and we are going to, I'm going to showcase the cards that I have made, show you if you're not familiar. I've already opened up this paper pumpkin, but you'll get to see kind of the just of what comes in the kits. They're different, of course, every month based on the theme, but you can kind of see how um, how full the boxes are. And then we're going to showcase the products, make a few, and then I've got a couple quick Valentine's cards I'm going to throw at the end just because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So are we ready for that? If you're not, if you live in the Midwest and it's snowing where you're at, just get your stamps out and craft because it's about the only way to beat the blues right now. Oh, I'm going crazy with all the snow. All right, here we go. Okay. okay, I think we are ready to go. This is the paper pumpkin. Um, good things come in small places. My first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box. And this is my new one. And as you can see, it always has a promo for the next month. You can also find those online. It has full color instructions if you want to make the projects that come in the kit. And like I said, these are great. They are treat boxes for gift cards, treats, cash, great for fun gifts. Um, and it's full color instructions of how to put them all together. Then there is adhesive, tearing tape to put them together. All of the supplies, um, there are some um, stamping dimensionals to stick things down, uh, a roll of the... Um, basic gray baker's twine. I love to use baker's twine. An ink spot. Remember we talked about that. This is the garden green ink spot. And then all kinds of die cuts. There are so many supplies in this box. I, I get two paper pumpkins every month, one to create with and then one to share with you. And I have a ton left from the first kit. So as you can see, die cuts, tags, this box was full of stuff. There is a lot, a lot of projects that you can make out of this kit. Um, I'm going to set this aside so that we can, so they can share what I have created with this kit and they were super fun. Now, remember they had an add on kit that is still available. If you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, good things, cards and envelopes, and it is 20 cards and envelopes and they are so nice. Um, as you can see, I, they're in light blues, pinks, grays with envelopes. So I am, that's what I use for my alternative projects. If you don't have those cards, you can just use cardstock, basic white cardstock, or you can use the balmy blue, the basic gray, um, the blushing bride. They will, it will be perfect. I just use the cards because this is an add on feature. So here's the first one. And I took all of the bands that were supposed to go around the boxes and I cut them up so that, so if you'll notice, these are parts of the bands just sliced with the trimmer. So, and this is actually the edge of one of the other ones. I use, I use all the pieces and I just mounted it on a piece of white special delivery. And this is one of the gray cards. Added some of the die cuts out of the kit. I love this one. Congrats. Um, cheers and forever. Now I did stamp a lot of my images in basic gray. I wasn't quite sure I wanted to use the green, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I did use the basic gray for a lot of them. I added some rhinestones. Rhinestones are always fun. Um, this is just one of the bands once again, and this is one of the card bases cut four to five and a quarter. I wrapped this with um, the Baker's twine 
and tied it in a bow. This is one of the labels out of the kit. And this is also, not this one, but this is just one of the, there's little score lines, if you can see. And I literally just cut them up to get one of the pieces of the baby blue, the, yeah, the bombing blue. And there you go. Super fun. I loved when I wrap cards with twine. One thing I really do enjoy is if you are putting a check or something in the mail, I love to be able to hook my money or my check on through the ribbon. I just, and I kind of fold my check over. I like to do that because it just doesn't fall out if they open it fast or whatever. Just a way to kind of secure it in there. Little ch trick that I do. Here's another one. Cheers to forever. Um, and this is just three of the little tabs off of the edges just I would have cut right there at the end three of them uh, another label added some rhinestones and some this time I used some basic white baker's twine and some of the leaves that are die cuts out of the kit um, congratulations you did it I wrapped the opposite way with the um, baker's twine and I did use the green and the basic gray there with the graduation hat Graduation's going to be here before we know it. So this is just, these are perfect sum, summer cards. Baby showers, weddings, and graduation are definitely on my calendar. So I'm sure it's on all of yours coming up in the future. Um, cheers, or cheers to forever and congrats. This is another one. This would be so cute. You could do this for graduation. It'd be a great baby shower card or a wedding card. Well, actually not baby shower. It'd be a great wedding card, shower card. Um, so just simple, just more of the, the bases, literally both sides of the bases and one of the labels stamp. These are so simple. These went together so quickly. This is using our scallop circle punch, kind of a fun punch. And I literally just um, punched out the center of one of those, added a label. Um, once again, more pieces of the cards, mini glue dot for a bow, simple graduation card. Here is another one, happy birthday. And this is just literally when I cut some of these bases down to four by five and a quarter, there is the strip. This would be five and a half, so I cut it down to five and a quarter, but that's how I got that half inch strip of the green. Um, once again, this is a label out of the kit, and this is one of the sections. So added some rhinestones. Super cute. Simple, simple cards. Here is another one. I thought this was super fun. Um, this is just one of the gray card bases. This is a label out of the kit. They just look like gift cards. They're so cute. Added some... Um, of the die cuts these came also in our paper pumpkin kit with some rhinestones and this is literally one of the bands um literally one of the bands and i just cut it off at five and a quarter so i really really chop the paper pumpkin kits up and take them to levels so this is a four by five and a quarter on uh, mat and then i wrapped it three times and tied it in a bow with the basic gray um baker's twine so there's that one this is a super fun one too. Good things come in small packages. It doesn't um, have to be the box. I, you know, this is gonna be like probably a gift card or something inside of it. So good things come in small packages. They can come in small cards too. Or I might put a gift card holder inside that, which you'll see how I'm gonna make in a little bit. This is um, using our new uh, tag punch. And I used this end and I literally just, um, once again, took a couple of the edges, these really thin edges right there. I, I used all the pieces. A label out of the kit. I did pop up one of the flowers with a dimensional and I stuck one down with a mini glue dot and added a bow. Super simple. This one is two inch um, rectangles. I cut them all to two inch in length and they were the length of the cut. So I just cut them down to two inches. I cut them on the on the um, crease of the score line and then I cut them down to two inches. So just four different prints from the kit, added two leaves, a label, cheers to forever. I could add some rhinestones on this, but I kind of like the simplicity of it and added two of the bows or two of the leaves, a mini glue dot bow. Um, this one's so cute to special delivery. Oh baby. This was a fun one. I did just, I, what I did was I took two of the ends and I layered them in the center. So they actually cross over, um, here. So this is just two of them to form a long band to go across the card, wrapped it three times with, um, white essential baker's time. This is out of our essential baker's 
twine pack, which I thought I had a set of it beside me, but I don't know where it went. Stamped it in the basic gray and then added one of the tags out of the kit. There were a lot of these. I didn't use that many of them, but there is a ton of them left. So those will be fun to use too. This one I used our um, Good Feeling stamp set and I stamped in both the gray and the um, garden green. And I just said, hip, hip, hooray. I thought this was just a fun celebration card, birthday card. You could stamp inside of it, happy birthday, hip, hip, hooray, congratulations. And these are just, all of the pieces are double-sided. So I used two different sides. So um, two of the same and one the opposite and labels out of the kit. This is one of the pieces. And then I just stuck a label on it, some rhinestones. I wrapped it three times with Baker's twine again and added a double tied Baker's twine bow with the mini glue dot. So just simple cards. I really, really had fun with this kit. This one, I did add um, a basic white thick card base, four by five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half scored. Well, actually, it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. There you go. And this is one of the card bases out of the card kit. And it is four by five and a quarter. And these are all out of the kit once again. Congrats. I did add some Mango Melody ink here and it said you did it. So this could be a fun, probably graduation card. So those were just fun ones. Then I did take a little bit of another fun. I use the word fun a lot because I think this is really fun. We have an amazing kit of paper with a hundred dollar order and this is my own. I should get you a nice neat one, but look at this 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is all double sided. This pack is amazing. This is um, one of the packs that is free with a hundred dollar order during celebration and it is awesome paper. I perfect for spring, perfect for creating so much fun. So bright. It's 12 by 12. Um, dandy designs free with a hundred dollar order. Um, it is, I was going to tell you how many sheets it is a very thick pack and I 48 sheets of paper. So 48 sheets of paper. If you are a paper crafter at all, that's a lot of paper. That's a great value. So you all know that. And it's all double sided. Our paper is beautiful. It's all double sided and it's super fun. Great colors for spring. So I made these next two cards with this paper. And here is one of them. This one is on a basic gray card base. And these are just leftover pieces from the kit because I still have a lot of pieces. I could make a ton more of these. And these are the stamps out of the kit. I did stamp these in the Tahitian Tide Blue. And it says, oh baby, special delivery um, for your special delivery. So um, special delivery for your special delivery. And I can probably put a gift card or whatever I want in that one too, or put it with a present. And same thing with this one, only I turned it into a happy birthday. And this is more paper. I did use the scallop contour dies in this one. This is on a balmy blue card, balmy blue card base. And these are all pieces out of the kit. This is the DSP is from the, the um, celebration paper pack, but there's the tag and all the rest of this stuff is all out of the kit. So how fun, special delivery, happy birthday. It's a special delivery when it's your birthday, right? So there's are some of the fun cards. Then there was treat boxes that we could make. So since I used a lot of the bands cutting up in the cards, I still had a lot of the boxes left and pieces. So use your boxes. Here's one I did make. Um, and this is basically out of the kit before I jump over here. This is good things come in small packages and it's wrapped in the Baker's twine and stamped happy birthday. So how fun to get this for a decorated gift. How fun. Um, unwrap the twine, open it up and see what is gifted to you. I love to make cute little gifts. That's kind of a family thing. We're always, when the kids had friends over to play when they were little, we always sent them away with goodie bags and stuff. That's just our, our fun thing to do. So these tree boxes are fun. Um, and then I had, like I said, I had a lot of them left because I had a lot of the bottoms because I had used the bands for other things. So here's another one. This will be perfect for graduation. Um, perfect to strip stick a Target gift card or whatever inside of it. Um, cash, graduates love cash. So those are things, and this is out of the kit. These are, all the pieces are out of the kit with the stamping, congrats, you did it. So since I had a lot left and I had some of these bright green ones and St. Pat's Day is coming up, I was like, hmm, 
I decided it would be fun to create, since we have this adorable Lucky Clover stamp set in our spring mini catalog. This, this, I love this set. The punch just sold out, but it's okay. You can easily fussy cut and still use this set. I will be doing a card class with this set. It is so cute. Luck of the Irish, so cute. Love it. So we're going to use that and we're going to put together one of these card bases. And literally, you can take your barn your phone folder, that probably would be the proper way, I'm always flying fast, and kind of just varnish down your edges to crease them better. I look like a hot train wreck here. Um, and you just want to give them kind of a sharp crease. Then there were some mini glue dots that came in your kit. I am going to use the ones on that I stamp with since they are sitting here, but there are some little ones that came in the kits. These, these are glue dots, same thing as what I'm using. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start sticking these tabs together. Of course, when you're trying to do this on a video, it's never gonna look like it's supposed to, right? I'm gonna put one on this edge too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Put that one in there like it should. All right, then we're going to do this side. I really don't struggle till I turn my camera on and then it's just a massive struggle. Maybe tonight everything won't fall on the floor like the last video. probably an easier way to put these together than my struggle on the camera but there we go perfect and that side popped out oh goodness you could also use your multi-purpose glue there we go okay that looks good you want to fold your edges in once again you could do it with the bone folder but it's all good and there we have a little box. Now, obviously it's gonna pop open, so we want it to stay shut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the bands and I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna put that around my box. And I am gonna bend my edges beforehand and I could crease them with my bone folder, but I'm just gonna fold them. And there you go, there is the band that's gonna go in our box. So we would put our treats in our box and then actually you don't have to put them in now but i probably would recommend putting them in before you completely do your project and we're going to go ahead and we are going to put our band together and you want it to be a little bit loose and you can use the tearing tape that came in the kit or i'm just going to use some of my adhesive and i'm going to go ahead I'm gonna just stick it together. And remember, I want it to be a little loose. So there we go. So we can slide it on and off. Yep, perfect. So now that we have our band on our box and our box opens this way, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. And I forgot to mount my stamps for this one. So I grabbed one of the labels that came out of the kit and we're gonna grab one of the tags and one of the round um, circles, and we're gonna use our baker's twine. So I need to grab my stamps quick. I am going to say sending love and luck on this one. So let me grab a couple blocks. I usually have everything ready and I forgot to get blocks for these, so it's okay. I just like to drop my stamps and then pick them up with my blocks. And this one is the little four leaf clover and we're just gonna put this right down on the tag. I just am into my stamp set up so it's probably really, really juicy, I'm hoping. All right, I do like to stamp on grid paper so you can line your edges up and know that your image is straight. Not that a four leaf clover has to be straight, but that works. 
and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to drop my image right here. I'm going to ink this up good in the garden green. All right, sending love and luck. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap and take our gray. This is came right out of the paper pumpkin kit. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave a pretty long tail on this side to tie a bow. I'm gonna wrap it around here, up, around the label, and there it goes, rolling to the floor. Wouldn't be a video without something falling on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and use my paper snips. I recommend paper snips for paper crafting. Ours are awesome. They are tight, uh, tight. They are um, very sharp the perfect size for crafting so i love our paper scents remember i said i love our jewels okay and then i am just going to tie a bow Perfect. And then once you get your bow tied, you can um, adjust it smaller or bigger. That one actually didn't turn out terrible, so I'm not even going to bother him. Then I added some dimensionals to the back of the circle. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this label right over our band. This would be so cute, like filled with some chocolates or money. So we have that ready. I do like to use our take your pick tool to pop the backs off my dimensionals. They peel off easily, but it's just fun to pop them off that way. They also go straight in the garbage that way. So that's another bonus. And I'm going to kind of angle this off to the right hand side of the um, package. And then I'm going to take our tag and I'm just going to kind of stick it up and under the with the bow and you can I took a dimensional and popped it under the tags they don't need it but I didn't want them to be falling off so I just kind of oops and then I put it around my circle I just kind of tucked them down like this so there you go sending um, luck and love aren't those cute perfect for St. Patty's Day coming up so these are all out of the kit. Perfect little treat boxes. So those were fun to create. Um, now let's create a couple quick cards. So we're gonna close that ink because we ink is dangerous when it's open. I have one of our green, not dangerous as in getting hurt, dangerous as in it gets all over and then you have a mess. I have one of our, um, I think this is pear pizzazz um card bases that came in the sending good thoughts card kit and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take one of our the gray cards out of the kit and you could use the regular colors of these cards if you don't have them and i'm going to cut it down to three and three fourths by i think i did four and three fourths let's try this and see I really should write these sizes down before I do them. Nope, it was three and a half. And then I want this to be three and a half. This little piece that I cut off the bottom, because we're going to use it. So, what I did was I took this, this white, which is the back side of this. There we go. And this is three and a half um, wide. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my adhesive. I'm going to put that right down in the center. Hopefully that's straight. And then I took some baker's twine. And this one, I'm just going to wrap it twice around the card. Sometimes I do two times, sometimes I do three. My rule is usually three, and then I, as I'm talking, I did three. So you know what? It's gonna be three today. 
that wasn't the plan, but that's what happened. Snip it off and we're gonna tie it up in a knot and I'm just gonna tie it in a knot underneath the stamp circle we're gonna put down. So there we go. And then just snip your ends off. And we're gonna take one of the, I thought I grabbed those. All right, we're gonna grab one of the circles out of the kit. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this down on our card. And I have glue dots flying now. Goodness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down to our card front. And you know what, just for fun, I think we're going to do something a little different and I'm gonna pop this one up because dimension on cards is really fun too. I love to add dimension and I love to add elements to all my cards. Texture, dimension, and elements are fun, fun pieces to add. This is just a fast way. See, they stick to the bottom and then you're not they're not all over the house and the floor and everywhere else because, trust me, I find them everywhere in our house. All right, so now we're going to stick that up for some dimension. Cute. I like that. All right, then we're going to take our one of the circles out of the kit and notice how they have that um, gray stitching. They're just cute. They're really cute. So I'm going to add my basic gray ink and I'm going to, I have my stamps already mounted. I'm going to grab the one that says cheers to forever. These are Pablo Premier stamps, which I love to stamp with those because you can see through them. You can see exactly where you're stamping. So there we go. Then I am going to grab out of the kit three of the die cut leaves. I should have had those grabbed and I didn't. But they just have super fun die cuts that came in these kits too. So I'm going to grab three of those. And they just punch out beautifully. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of the circle that's stamped. And pop that off. Stick that right down over the center. Then I did, I've done these a couple different ways. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of our multi-purpose glue and this one I just want to stick kind of and I used a little much but it'll dry clear and I want to curl that one up so that one I just kind of curled up and I really don't like using my glue because it's just too gushy for this so I'm going to go back to my mini glue dots and the thing I like about the mini glue dots is you can kind of roll them with your finger too and get them for these little tiny projects. You can kind of roll them around and uh, just kind of get them, they're very sticky, but you can get them exactly kind of where you need them. And I'm gonna tuck that up and under there. And then I'm gonna take another one and do it the same thing with this sleeve. And you could kind of curl that one too if you want like so. There's really no right or wrong when you're stamping, so don't ever feel like, oh, my card didn't turn out, because you know what? Only you knows how your card turned out or didn't turn out at all. I do have some basic rhinestones here. I love to add bling to cards too, and this is my own. Goodness gracious. I do keep them in solo bags and I kind of have them flying everywhere right now. I might need to open a new pack. Let's see what I can find here. Here we go. We're going to add some rhinestones and we use our paper. These are our basic rhin basic rhinestones and I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And I'm just going to place three of them. This is just a really elegant wedding card or shower card. We have another wedding this summer at our house, so I will be needing lots of shower and wedding cards. Seems like we've been in the wedding mode forever. Isn't that just pretty? I love it. Cheers to forever. Super pretty. Simple. Simple cards. Simple is always best in the crafting world. All right, then we have another one that I have to 
think for a minute where my green is. Hang on. Now my rhinestones went flying all over. I got it. If you saw the behind the scenes some days of these videos, you probably would be like, oh, this poor lady. Where did the other half of that card base go? Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use the balmy blue one and we're going to do a graduation card. So I cut apart one of those cards already. So now I have the other half of it. This one I am going to make a four by five and a quarter inch mat, which is what I use a lot for mats. Now, this is also our paper trimmer. If you haven't seen our paper trimmer, it is amazing. Um, it cuts, it can measure out quite a, uh, to 20 inches, I believe, 18 inches. Um, it's down to the eighth of an inch in dimension. We have a scoring blade to get those scored edges, and then we have a cutting blade. So it's an amazing tool. Love our paper trimmer. So now I have a four by five and a quarter inch mat, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down to my card front. Like so. Then these bands are great, but you know what? I love to do gift cards, gift card holders. So this is going to be a gift card holder for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the tearing tape that came in the kit. Oops, I told you something would fall on the floor and the trimmer just did. Awesome, we'll get that in a minute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this along the bottom edge to seal the bottom because we don't want our gift card to fall out. I'm gonna fold that over and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. So on this though, I'm gonna put it on this side and that edge. So I'm gonna literally make a pocket. Only the top end of it is going to be open. So, and you just, it's just tearing tape. You just literally eyeball and tear. It's super fun, peel off the edge, it's sticky, and it didn't stick. <laughs> it's sticky and it didn't stick, it really does stick. Just kind of take your finger and rub it down before you go. Don't worry about that edge because when we seal up this side, it'll be just fine. And you do want to get it close to your edge, like so. And go ahead and tear off, take your paper off. Oh my goodness, it really is slick. Can you tell? There we go. And we're gonna just seal that edge down and I'm going to set that aside for just a second. I'm going to go ahead and stamp you did it in the basic gray again because that is a perfect graduation scene. And where is it? Because they are all mounted up. Where did you did it go? Here we go, right in front of me. All right. Ink it up good in the basic gray. And I'm just going to stamp one of the die cuts out of the kit. Perfect. And before I stick this down, I want to wrap around it and make a bow. So I'm going to do three times around this and leave a good tail. I'm going to bring it to the front. I have to be careful because my adhesive is coming over the back a little bit. And I don't want it to stick to my paper. And I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow on the side. Then you can adjust, like I said, once you get it tied, just pull your strands and adjust it to the size that you want. That looks good. We'll trim it in a minute when we get it on our card. Now I'm ready to stick it on our card. You could go ahead and use your tearing tape again. I'm just going to use my stamping seal. I like to use stamping seal plus. Um, it's just a little bit stronger for projects. I tend to use the plus more than the regular. And I'm going to go ahead and I have just a hotel gift card. So pretend it's a gift card. And I'm going to stick it down in there. See how fun cash or whatever sticking out of the front of your card. That is just, just such a cute graduation idea. Graduates love gift cards. At least my kids sure did. So there you go. And we're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of our stamped circle. We'll do three of them. And pop our backs. 
Oops, I missed this one. Okay. We did it. All right. Now, there were also some graduation hat die cuts. So let me grab a couple of those. This kit was just packed. It was just amazing how much stuff was in this kit. So I'm just going to grab two of the little die cut graduations. And I did just grab some mini glue dots for these. Remember, you have some in your kit. And I'm going to put one right. Oops, it's flying off. I put one right on the circle. And I'm going to take one more and put it up in the corner like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just trim these down a little bit like so. Isn't that just fun? And then especially for a special graduate, you have all kinds of room in here to write a really nice saying, um, a really nice letter, notes, whatever. But I love this. And you can put the card inside it, but it's just kind of fun, like a fun little gift to just see what you're getting right from the start. So there's a fun graduation card. Put my hotel room key away for a minute. I always think when I get down here, oh, I need a um, gift card. And the other day I was digging through my purse and I found a hotel key I forgot to turn back in. And I'm like, well, perfect. I'll just keep that in my stamp room. And now I always have a gift card. So haha, ha, that worked like a charm. Um, I have one more card to do. And where did it go? Okay, we're missing a card here. What happened? They were all laid out. So how did they disappear on me? Hang on just a second, because that is really strange. Where did they go? Oh, goodness sakes. So bizarre. Um, oh, I know where they are. Ha, got them, found them, sorry. I am organized, I'm so organized. They were in the, in the box. Okay. Here is another one, and oops, I got some green ink on that. That's okay. It'll be the inside of the card, so we'll put some. I do usually add a four by five and a quarter inch um, piece of white cardstock inside of my cards anyway. I just like a thicker card when I um, get these thinner cards, so I will add that, and it will be just fine. Now I am going to stamp. I'm going to die cut this down with the trimmer that's on the floor. We're going to cut this down to four. Oh, I already did by five and a quarter. So it's already cut down and ready to go. This is just a simple one, um, but it's cute. At least I think it's cute. And I once again wrapped my um, center three times with my, uh, center, with my basic gray twine that came in the kit. And I've got that a little short, so I'm going to pull it over here. I just need to center it so I can tie it. I got that a little, now I have it a little short this way. Oh goodness. What am I doing? Let's start over here. All I need is enough for a knot. You do not need a lot here. You just literally am going to knot it because we're going to put stuff over the top of it. So, and I really got that a little, little tight. And sometimes if you get it too tight, you can just actually stick it down with that adhesive, which we might have to do here because I don't know if I can tie this little. And that's what we're going to do because I really, really got that tight but this is okay. Here's another little cheat trick. You can go like this and stick it down this way. Perfect. It is down. And then we'll just trim off that extra edge and it will be just the same and you will never know that I don't have it that way. Then I actually the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our gray ink oh where did that go why is my ink disappearing 
Oh, I think these videos just truly test me. I have everything right beside me and now my ink has decided to move off. Where did that go? Oh, look, it's right in front of me. Ooh. Should not shoot these late at night. Okay. Good things come in, um, in small packages is what I am going to stamp on this one. And you will see why we're going to stamp this in just a second. And I'm going to stamp this off to the left hand side. And I'm going to grab one of the cupcakes die cuts while I have this in front of me. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that on my label with a mini glue dot. Those cupcakes are just too cute. I want to move them up a little bit. Okay. And you could do a dimensional with that too. Now I took one of the... blue and I, this is where I just really started cutting up these lid boxes so I'm going to show you how I kind of cut them up and I just literally cut them on all the crease lines the score lines and I want this shape out of it so I'm just going ahead and I am cutting off all the edges I didn't get quite close enough on that one and I'm just you can kind of feel there's a groove and I just kind of feel with my fingers Make sure I'm in that groove and I just cut off all of those. And now I have like a, a mat, a die cut mat that I can put. Oh, this is just not my night. It's okay. You're not going to get the best of me. There we go. It will be fine when everything gets stuck over it. It's down. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my label on top of my blue mat that we cut like so this is literally just cutting up the treat boxes then we're going to go ahead and add dimensionals to the back of this so they're stuck to my instructions wow everything is just interesting in the background here tonight i'm going to go ahead and pop the backs. Now my, imagine that, now my tool flew up. Oh, it's right beside me. Oh, goodness. Yep. Okay. Sometimes it's hard in the lighting to see if I got them off. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to put that right over the center of the card. And then we're going to mount it on the pink and it just kind of coordinates all the colors in there. Isn't that cute? I just, I think this one is really fun. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal. We're not done though. Hang on because this one gets better yet. At least I think it gets better. So there's that. And then I did add a couple of the mini rhinestones just right down here in the corner. I think this would just be so cute for a little girl or my little nieces because bling is always fun on a card too. But remember that gift holder that we made? I made another one um, with this one of these wraps to match the outside. And I went ahead and I stuck it inside the card. So just take your um, tearing tape once again and stick it together, leaving one edge open. And here is a gift card holder. So isn't that a fun one? Um, just like I said, take that hotel key, put it in, and this will be a perfect gift to mail off. Um, you can, it's not, there we go. It's not sliding down in the right, but there we go. And happy birthday. Isn't that fun? So I love that that theme goes perfect with that. So there is another fun one. And then I have one more. And this one I think is a super simple one. And it's just, it would be a fun shower card. You name it. Um, I loved this print i thought it was so pretty so remember since we cut that up i've got one more card base i used both of my card bases this one i am going to take into three and three fourths by five yeah 
and then I want I have everything else cut yes I do I'm going to go ahead and I want this fat um fat larger metal set out of there so I'm gonna go ahead and chop on my I'm just feeling those score lines I'm cutting on that because I literally wanted this bigger piece out of the center is what I was um, aiming to cut. So I have that cut and I'm going to actually take one of my labels and I'm going to put this over the top so just the pink shows out both sides. So that was what I was doing with that. So there we have that. And then I'm gonna take one of our labels once again. And cheers to always and forever, because I think this is just a perfect, like I said, shower card, wedding spring is wedding season. My kids are at the age where we have lots and lots of weddings still. So there's that. And then before I stick this down, I use some of our basic white baker's twine. I'm sure you got it. We'll see if we can leave ourselves some better um, room this time. And I'm going to do my three times. Chop it off. Hey, look at this. I left myself enough room to tie this time. Always use a little more ribbon than less because it just makes life a little easier. And snip your edges off and same thing with this one we're gonna have a little fun and the first one I did I didn't pop it up but I am gonna pop this one up I tend to use a lot of dimensionals another good reason I'm a demonstrator because I love to use a lot of adhesive probably more than I really need most days but that's okay I don't want my cards to fall apart right Oh, that one didn't pop off. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put it on our, our Blushing Bride pink card base. Dimension is fun. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this over the top. This definitely has a lot of dimension because I want this to pop up. We're gonna go ahead and put that right in the center. And then I am not gonna pop this because I've already got so much popped up. This one, we're just gonna go ahead and stick down in the center, like so. And then we need one of our flowers. These are so dainty too. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a mini glue dot. stick that right down there in the corner and I think it's really fun to add some bling to the center of our flower so isn't that just a dainty card cheers to forever I love this perfect shower card so very fun to add dimension these are simple cards look how fast those were so we have lots of fun cards this paper pumpkin kit there are so many pieces left as I said, I get two, and these are all the pieces, well, not these, but I still have all of these pieces, and I, I tossed a bunch of the bands already that I cut. So these, the value in these is amazing. They will go a really long ways, paper pumpkin. The neat thing, too, is all of your cards store beautifully in your box so that you can have your cards stored, and when you need a card, I can go to my paper pumpkin boxes, and I do often, and I can grab... I know what themes are in the boxes and I can go and grab a card that I need. Um, I have Christmas cards already done for next year, stored in boxes, so the, they're fun. I encourage you to give Paper Pumpkin a try. A try. They have rescued me so many times. I wanted to make a couple really quick cards since it is celebration and we have some fun free products, remember? 
and one of them is the Hoot Owl set. And I have one cute card that I've already shown that was done with this set. And I want to make another one for you. So I have everything ready to roll. This is supposed to be ready to roll. We'll see how this goes. All right. I did want to show you one quick trip. This one, quick, quick trip, quick tip. This one is Hoot Hoot, you're so cute. Um, and this is using that dandy um, DSP that is free with a $100 order. And I'm gonna make another one right now. This is a fun trick. I am going to show you how to get two card bases cut out of one. I'm gonna um, put my paper to four and a quarter and I'm going to crease it first. Then I'm going to flip it over and cut it at five and a half. And now I have two card bases. So just a really fun little tip. I also am using some um, mossy green. No, this is, yes. And this, and then more of that dandy DSP. I have already die cut out a scallop circle, a layering circle die, and a stitched rectangle for pieces that we're going to use with our um, die, die cut machine. Now I'm going to first start by using my bone folder and varnishing the edge so I have a crisp card fold. Next I'm just going to go ahead and put some layers together. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick down my four by five and a quarter inch mat to the front of this card. All right, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead, before I stick anything down here, I'm going to take some more of our Essential Baker's Twine and I'm using the crumb cake color, caramel color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a three time wrap here too. Can you tell I like to do that a lot? Sorry. It is just something that I really enjoy doing. And we're going to go ahead and knot that off. This is just a cute, this owl, hoot hoot owl set I will feature in a second here is so much fun. He, those owls are just adorable. And same thing, just tie your ends up because it's not going to show. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. To my card in front. I like things in quarter inch mat. Sometimes I'll do eighth, but I like to have that even um, edge around them. Now I'm going to take my basic white, um, layering circle that I cut little pieces everywhere. What a mess. And I'm going to take my owl and some soft suede ink. And this is the owl set. That is one of the free $50, um, celebration, um, sets adorable owls. So with a three month paper pumpkin subscription, this could actually be a free choice for you. And it is so adorable. So adorable owls, and this one, I'm just going to stamp up in soft suede ink, like so. And then we are going to give this owl some color. I grabbed my light balmy blue because I'm trying to pay off the colors in the DSP. And I'm going to color up his eyes. I don't know what color owl's eyes are, but this owl's eyes are blue. I guess I've never really paid attention. These are using our Stampin' Blends. I love our Stampin' Blends. They are an alcohol-based um, blend marker. They do not leave lines. They have a light and a dark in every color. So if you were to get like a pumpkin pie one, you have a light pumpkin pie and a dark pumpkin pie. And the reason for that is you can blend and shadow and they are beautiful. Markers leave lines. These do not leave lines. We have markers too. They're great, but I love our Stampin' Blends. This is the light pumpkin pie. And I'm just coloring in his little beak and his little feet. I don't know. Do owls have feet or what are those? Claws? I'm not really sure. I guess I don't know my owls real well. Do I? 
Um, then I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to grab my, don't want that one, this one, let's see. I'm going to grab my light mossy meadow, I think. Let me test this out. Yeah, I think this will be cute. I'm going to give him for just a different, this might be too dark. I might not like this after all. I thought it would be fun to give him a bow tie, but I think this is too dark. So probably not the best plan. It'll work, but it's a little dark. Should have gone with my first plan. Okay, now I'm going to take my soft suede light because I don't want this owl to be real dark and I am going to kind of just go around the edges of this I'm going to go ahead and color in his wings and they have a fine tip and a brush end so um, for larger areas you can use the brush the fine tip really works great for getting into all these um, deeper edges and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to color or blend this in. Same thing up here. I probably could have flipped to my other end, but I'm just trying to hurry here for... Then I'm going to jump over to my crumb cake and I'm going to grab my dark crumb cake first and I'm going to go around some of these edges. And I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just going around the edges right now. And we're just giving some shadow. Then I'm going to take my light crumb, crumb cake and I'm going to go ahead and just blend. See, I'm just pulling that dark and I'm just blending. And you can keep going over and over it and just pulling that dark into the light. And pretty soon, and you just have to play and color. I had one of my friends say, oh, I just can't figure out those blends. You just keep coloring till you get the color that you want. Just keep blending. They're so fun. I love them. I use them all the time. In fact, I just had to replace a few of them because the ends were getting kind of grungy. I use them so much. So just keep pulling that color and get the shadow effects that you want. And just pull that dark out. Oh, I wish I hadn't given him a green bow tie, but it's okay. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm probably really not going to like this, but you know what, for the sake of the camera, we'll make it work and then I'll show you the right one. I should have just stayed with my plan. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my scallop circle. And that could use a little more blending, but we'll do that later. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my dimensionals. And now my ticket pick tool really did disappear. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think you turn on the camera and things just walk away. So we're going to stick that down right in the center. That is not in the center, so I'm going to peel it up carefully. And I really don't like that bow. I am so sorry. Then I have um, out of the other, another awesome celebration set that we have is um, Thanks a Bunch and it features carrots. I know carrots, isn't that funny? But these are so darn cute. The sayings, the carrots, I will do some cards with these later. There's no one like you, love you, thanks, thanks a bunch, hey there. Um, it looks like spring, everything is coming up. Carrots, carrots, isn't that fun? Um, it is just a cute, cute, cute set. So I'm gonna stamp, there's no one quite like you because I think this owl just looks serious. And I'm gonna stamp this in soft suede. Once again, I'm gonna line this up on my 
grid paper so that I'm pretty straight. I got that still a little low. I'm trying to reach out in front of me, but it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down. I don't want that one to pop up on the center of my card front. And there is the card. Now here is the one in blue and I definitely like, and I use um, Mossy Meadow on this one. So I don't know which one I like better. I think this one. You can see, and this owl is darker too. What did I do? Why is my owl darker? I must have, I didn't use my dark suede. Well, anyway, you can see that using your different blends and is a super fun, cute card. And I just stamped, there's um, no one like you. And then I used the set, um, a grand kid and so smart, so fun, so sweet and wonderful. What a, just a fun card. So you could put happy birthday in there, whatever. This is just a free um, set, adorable owls. And since it's Valentine's day, I'm gonna do one last fast card. For you. I had two, but we're only going to go with one. I'm going to pull it out because it's all right here. And it's all basically cut. Up. So I have everything here. I have a basic white thick card base. I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder and get that ready to go. And then I have some sweet sorbet, four by five and a quarter. And then I have a three and a half, no, three and three fourths by five. And then I have a strip that is inch and a half by five. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my inch and a half by five. And this is out of the Country Bouquet DSP. Um, some of the pieces, it is absolutely beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Um, great for Valentine's Day, but great for so many fun occasions. There's some adorable little bicycles in it. It's just super fun paper. I'm going to go ahead and put that strip to the left hand side. Then I have some of our ribbon combo that came in the Sweet Country Bouquet series and that does not look straight for some odd reason. Maybe it is, but it doesn't look it. I guess it's okay. I am too picky, way too picky. All right, and I'm just going to stick a little of that at the top. You can use a mini glue dot here or you can just use some. I want it to be right in the center of my, there we go, ribbon. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this onto our sweet sorbet. Like so. And I feel like that was popping up a little bit. Okay. I am going to use the country bouquet um, card stamp set and this is an amazing stamp set. I absolutely love it. I have my stamps already mounted and I'm going to use our heart punch. I believe this is um, now sold out on the website too, but you can easily use this set without the stamp set. This designer series paper is all two-sided. All of our paper is two-sided. This punch set works beautifully and you can fussy cut the same thing that I'm punching out with the stamp. Now to get these clearly cut out, punched out, you want, I like to stamp upside down so I can literally have a little of that white edge showing in all directions and pop because I wanted that heart. Now I want one more heart here and there's also a stamp in this set that you can um, stamp out too with the lined, the lined heart look. I just am going to use some of my paper to get the same. It's really hard when you're trying to look over your desk. All right. So that's a fun punch. Now I have a couple hearts and what I'm going to do, 
One more thing that we need to cut out quick. And I just literally had it. In, okay. We're going to use the little mini cut emboss machine. Remember the wonderful item that you can get free right now. I just wanted to literally show you how it works. So we're going to use our stylish shapes die cuts. And where are my plates? The cool thing about these is they are all labeled. This is my old set, so they're not very pretty and clean. I'm sorry, but there's the card base number one, and we are going to mount it between two sheets of paper. And I just have a little scrap paper because I just need a little die cut. Um, so I look a little piece of um, basic white, and these are our um, stitch stylish or stylish shaped die cuts. They are in back order, but they are coming off back order, and they are amazing. I have a couple sets. I use them all the time. So if you need a fun die cut set to start out, seriously, get the stylish shapes. So you literally just roll your die cut out and roll it through. Super easy. Hang on to the top and look at that cute die cut. See the um, detail in it? These are great. So this is a super fun set. All done and I can just put it right back away. Isn't that fun? It's just fast. Super easy to use right beside me. I love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to stamp. Did I cut the right size? Oh goodness. Yeah. Okay. Before we start, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image in Sweet Sorbet ink. I love Sweet Sorbet. It's such a pretty red. And this one I'm going to say, just wanted to say, and it's going to pretty much be the size of this die cut. So I'm just going to kind of sneak it in there. Perfect. And while I have my ink out, I'm going to go ahead and finish the inside of my card. And I just have a little strip of DSP. I always like to add some DSP inside my card. So I just have a half inch by, and I was gonna do the other side. Hmm, that's okay, we're gonna do the half cut hearts. It'll be fine. I was gonna do the peach, but we got hearts instead. And this is by five and a quarter. So that's for the side of the thing. And it went over the top just a hair, which is no problem if that happens. Just take your snips and cut it off. And then I wanted to say, I love that we are friends because I love the same. So isn't that cool? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and stick that while I'm working on things inside my card. So it's just stuck down inside my card. Perfect. I love that we are friends. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this one down too, because we can finish the rest of it with it stuck on our card front. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on my card front like so. Then I'm gonna go back to my hearts and I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. I'm gonna angle one up here and I'm gonna take another dimensional. I'm gonna angle it on the opposite side like so. Then I'm going to take my die cut and I'm just going to go ahead and use some of my adhesive and I'm just going to kind of tuck that right in there. Then I want to use a couple of the green leaves and I just used some of the mini glue dots for those too. Just kind of stick those anywhere you want in there. And then I'm going to use some of our um, ribbon out of the Country Bouquet Suite 2. It's a uh, red and a stitched crumb cake ribbon. And I don't know where the crumb cake is right now, but it is an awesome combo pack. And 
and it ties beautifully. And just work it once you get it tied to the size of the bow you want. And sometimes I have to stick it down on my project and see if that's the size I want. That looks pretty good. Okay, so more glue dots. Sometimes I just put my glue dot right where I want. I always like my edges to be sharp and crisp, so I cut that in an angle. And then I love to use our um, iridescent sequins. These are so fun. They are new for Valentine's Day. Um, they are a bonus gift with a $50 order from me because I love to send happy mail. So right now that is my special. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to place a couple of these down on the card. And isn't that beautiful? Just a super fun card. It's so pretty. Valentine's Day is just this would just make me smile. If I got this from a friend, I would just smile. Um, family, friends, nieces, nephews. Now I love to also coordinate my envelopes. So I have a strip of DSP and I always either use one of the sides and one of the papers out of the um, card that I use so that they all just kind of coordinate. And you can use your um, multi-purpose glue or you can use your adhesive. I tend to just grab my stamp and seal just because it's fast and I'm just not a patient person, can you tell? So anyway, I am feeling the edge, the folded line of the envelope flap. So I'm kind of taking my finger and I want to get my paper right to that edge. So you just kind of literally feel it across and then press it down and Perfect. Now I came over this edge just a little bit, but that's okay because I will grab my paper tools in a minute and fix that. You don't want to get real close on this edge so we can fix paper snips here too if we need to. And we're folded in. I just take them and then I just cut off any excess because if you get too close with your trimmer, you will slice your envelope open. And trust me, I have done that. And then you have to start all over and that's never a good plan. This one's just nip and tuck if it goes over. Okay, then um, I don't want that much DSP hanging over the edge. So then I take my trimmer and I had, that was just a piece I had laying around. I could have cut it smaller, but I cut it down to the sticky part so that I don't have, and there's a strip for the inside of a card. I don't have a bunch because I don't want it to come loose in the mail, but there you go. Isn't that just a beautiful card? So finish those envelopes, envelope flaps too. You want pretty mail. Everybody wants to get pretty mail in the mail, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have another really fast card and it is all cut out. So I'll go ahead and put it together. This was a swap card that I um, made and everyone seemed to really like it. So I'll share it with you. It wasn't my plan, but since it's sitting here and it's pretty much all cut out, this is also out of the country, um, country bouquet designer series paper. This is the country floral. I'm sorry, country floral in our mini catalog. And it is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. This is a four by five and a quarter inch. Look at the other side. It's beautiful. And I'm going to stick this down to a thick card base. And this one is cut four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. Here's the inside of it. And I have a strip of DSP cut half inch, four inch by half inch to match the outside of my card. And I'm going to stick that inside my card. so and then I have a three and a quarter by five and I, I am using some of our new pool party ribbon this is gorgeous gorgeous ribbon and I am just going to cut it in an angle right down here literally don't want it to be very long and I'm gonna hang it over the edge I'm going to fold it over and stick it down. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this down to our card front. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a mini glue dot and I'm just gonna anchor this down. Just like so. Now I've already taken one of those um, stylish die cuts and stamped a die cut a banner out and I have stamped it in balmy blue out of the same country bouquet set. I love that we are friends. And I also stamped out three um hearts and you know what one decided to disappear on me so awesome that is par for the course but you know what we'll just beat the system and stamp another one or punch another one because i don't know where it went all right one of the so I have a balmy blue, a fresh freesia, and a um, pool party punch out heart, and then I have a stylish shape die cut, and that is stamped in balmy blue. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick these hearts down with the dimensionals. This really is a very fast card. And I just angled them kind of every other way. I'm going to put the blue one next. And I want the, I kind of angled the, the shapes back and forth between the two too. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick my label down. before I put my last heart on there. And yeah, that's right. Yep, that'll work. And then I might go, I'll probably go back and tuck another dimensional under here. I didn't put them on both sides of the hearts because some of them are flat. I didn't want to pop this since this side has already popped up. So this one's just um, setting on there, if that makes sense. Now, this is fun, but I thought it would be fun to add some of our beautiful new flat backed adhesives. These are so fun to use. They are absolutely beautiful. And I should have a pack open, but of course they're not right in front of me. So we'll just open a pack. It's okay. And I'm going to grab my, take my quick tool and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to place some of them on the card. And I just kind of place them out and about. Actually, I want to grab a little one first. one there. Okay, I'm put a bigger one over here. There you go. I love that we are friends. Isn't that just cute? Um, I made this for a card swap and everyone just, I really liked it. So it was super simple and you can see they're, they're going to be different every time just by layering the hearts in different directions. I stamped happy Valentine's day in front of it. I will be sending this to some of my girlfriends. It was a fun one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoy sharing with you, even though it's about paper pumpkin, it was fun to add a few other cards to it. And whew, I got even longer than normal. Sorry. Um, have a great night. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Think about Paper Pumpkin. Have fun during celebration and I will be posting again soon. See you later. Bye-bye.